solve each equation. If the equation has no solution, write no solution. If it is an identity, write all real numbers. All right, so if we look at this equation, it doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, apply the distributive property. Let, let's simplify on the right-hand side. So we'd have 6x plus 5 is equal to 8x minus 16 minus 2x. And we can continue to simplify on the right-hand side. So we'd have 6x plus 5, and 8x minus 2x on the right is 6x minus 16. I notice that there are variable terms on both sides of the equation. So if I try to move them to the right, I'll subtract the 6x from the right-hand side and subtracting 6x from the left as well. Notice what happens here. 6x minus 6x is 0. And 6x minus 6x on the right-hand side is also 0. And so we now have the statement that 5 is equal to negative 16. So this is a false statement, or sometimes also known as a contradiction. This is a statement that is never true. 5 is never equal to negative 16. And so when we have this type of situation occur when we are attempting to solve an equation, what that tells us is this equation has no solution. There is no value of x that I can substitute and yield a true statement. 7x plus 5 minus 2x is equal to 2 thirds of 3x plus 12 plus 3x minus 3. All right, let's simplify on the left-hand side. I've got a 7x and a minus a 2x, so that's a 5x plus 5. On the right-hand side, I'll apply the distributive property. So let's see, 2 thirds of 3x is x. I'm sorry, it's a 2x. 2 thirds of 12, uh, 2 thirds times 12 is 8 and I have a plus 3x and a minus 3. Continuing to simplify on the right-hand side, I would have 2x plus 3x is 5x, plus 8 minus 3 is a plus 5. And we can notice right here, see how these are exactly the same? We have 5x plus 5 and 5x plus 5. So since these are the same, this is called an identity. So what that tells us is this equation has as its solution all real numbers. I could substitute any number for x and it would give me a true statement. And so then any real number is a solution of this equation. Nine x plus two is equal to two. So notice in this equation, we already have just the one variable term. So I will now isolate the variable term by subtracting 2 from both sides. And so then we have 9x equals 0. Well, I can isolate the variable here. I'll divide through by 9, yielding x equals. Now 0 divided by 9 is 0. And so this has a solution, x equals 0. So, we have to kind of be careful here. If we have a situation where we get in the end, say, 5 equals 7, what that tells us is we have no solution. If we have, on both sides equal sign, the exact Right. If we have the exact same thing, so if I ended up with 5 equals 5, that tells me the solution is all real numbers. But if in the end I find, say, x equals 5, then that is the only solution. 